everybody, it's Diane. I am here with the final flip through of this glue book. I just decided today, I only had a few pages that were not quite finished in my opinion. So I added some stickers and some scrapbook paper images and some washi tape to finish them off. And it's done. So this is going on a shelf in a different room. You will not see it again. <laughs> so uh, for anybody that has no idea what I'm talking about, this is a glue book I've been working on since 2019. It's about three and a half years. It's eight by eight, although the work surface is really only seven and a half because of this. It's what they call the memory book. I picked this up at a, either a thrift store or garage sale. It has pretty heavy paper. It's like an 80 pound, I think. I think it's great. It's white. It's heavy. There's no lines on it. I like it. I collaged this cover, I don't know, a couple years ago. I do have a video about it, if you're interested. So our flowers I did just in marker. So this is the title page. Most everything in here is magazine paper. There are also some stickers. There are also some junk mail items. There are a few scrapbook paper images. There are a few odd things. There is some vintage magazine. That's what this stuff is here, here. But the bulk of it, I would say, is contemporary magazines. On some pages, I have add, added marker things, little designs, borders, to sort of finish it off. I don't know how much anybody wants to hear. <laughs> These are old book pages. So is this, actual stamp, postage stamps, scrapbook paper, magazine, magazine. If for some reason you see some image you're just dying to know what it was, you can ask in the comments, I'll try to answer. Uh, did I mention, this is what I would call an en masse book for the most part. Like this is dogs. That's usually how I make these. There are some pages though that are you know, miscellaneous, so. This is part of an actual food package. Kind of cute. Now this is more miscellaneous, although you know there's a few buildings there. It's a little, a little unified. This is pretty miscellaneous too. This is an ATC I made once upon a time. This is a journal card I made. This is a printout of a CD I have of old seed packages. Sometimes I do that too. I must have printed it off for some reason and then didn't use it, so it wound up in here. It's obviously a horse page. Occasionally I add words if they are appropriate. Sticker, washi tape, sticker. This is just color. This is catalog. This is actually fabric. And then this is color too. If I had had, you know, foresight, I would have had them facing each other. I generally don't plan this stuff out. I do not save stuff and then do an entire page. I add stuff as I find it, as you maybe have seen in these glue book videos. Um, that works out pretty well for me. Yes, there's been occasions where I thought I should have moved that, or if that wasn't there, you know, how that goes. But you know, this is like a lot of stuff. To save it that long and then put it in all together, that's just not for me. This is an old coupon from an old, old, old magazine. See the old packaging on the Pillsbury cookie dough there? I, I hate to admit it, I remember the brown one. I don't really remember the sugar cookie one. And it, I did a flip so it didn't get covered. It expired May 31st, 1974. <laughs> so this is just cookies. I I know this started with this stack. I just thought that was cool in a magazine and I cut it out. This is sort of miscellaneous. I don't really remember what I started with with this one. These are all catalog stamps. The limes are scrap of paper back there. This, the orange, magenta, green, white, 
was in a magazine. That's it. I added the cat, I added plot twist, I added the record. But I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, these wacky package stickers are all copies of ones I have. And so I, I think that was the same thing. I printed them for something and didn't use them. So then since it was old candy, I found bloops. Does anybody remember those? I'm willing to bet not. I do. <laughs> and mouthful bubble gum. And then I just kind of pieced in with some stuff. I didn't know where else to put it. But it looks kind of cute. Black and white, obviously. This, I just liked this image down here. I think it was some sort of country club or something. So I continued the trees where they were cut with marker. I don't do too much with marker lately. I, sh I should do that more, shouldn't I? This just started with these two images I printed out, you know, to do something with. But they were a little soft, a little light, so I didn't want to use them. But they were nice enough, so I put them in here. And that just sort of led to this sort of a palette. This is all miscellaneous stuff. I did try to go with colors over here because of this word, um, you know, cool blue type colors. Horses. Uh, this started as just sort of like a barn and then I had open spaces, but then it wound up being more like doors. This is all red, white, and blue, Americana kind of stuff. This is old. Most of it's newer though. Cats. Uh, this started out as nothing. I put this Chanel ad magazine ad here. I just thought it was cute. And then I added the zinnias, and then this cat I sort of liked because of the green kind of match. And so from there, it wound up being mostly a cat page. A lot of cats on there. <laughs> now I added this, one of the first few things too, because it sort of matched the colors here. So Christmas. It's an old memory card. This has something stuck on it there. This that I peeled apart. Catalog stamps. It's a roll of wrapping paper from an ad or something. This is just miscellaneous stuff, although I did go with a color theme here with pink. And this is just image in a book, um, yeah, book, uh, Better Homes and Garden. I did add some washi tape down here and up there. It's more kind of miscellaneous, but we still went with a bit of a color theme. I added these flowers to kind of go with these. That's magazine. There's more catalog stamps there. This big daisy picture or cone flowers, whatever they are, is all one picture and I just added some words to it and did a little marker border stuff. More dogs. And it's the same thing. I just put in stuff as I found it. So it it works out pretty well. It's a little challenging, but like I said, for me, I'd rather do that than keep all this stuff for months and months and months. And, this is just fonts. Most of this is older magazine. I don't think they use so much cool fonts nowadays. <laughs> this is totally miscellaneous, this side. These Buster Keaton pictures are off the internet. I didn't use them for whatever reason. And then I just sort of added... He was in a movie called The Balloonatic, where he's up on a hot air balloon. So when I saw that, I put it by Buster and then added the other ones. So more horses. A couple bears there. I have a bear page coming up towards the end. 
I ran out of room. This one just started off as kind of these, and then these are all facing that way, I sort of like that. And then I kept finding puffins. I added a toucan or two. And color, went with color here. It's more miscellaneous. It's mostly magazine. This cups thing was off some packaging. Miscellaneous. I added paint around there. Giant. I don't know what that is. Is that a Xenia? Marigold. I think you've all seen this, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if I find any little itty bitty strawberries, I might add a couple. But since this book is being retired, I'm not really going to be actively looking for strawberries anymore. Is everyone applauding now? Halloween. This big image back here, I think it was a Vermont Country Store cover, catalog cover. Some of this, a lot of this stuff was like uh, grocery store newspaper ads, Target ads, that kind of stuff I was getting at that time. This was a calendar page. I mean, come on. Just did a border. And then I added this stuff to kind of match the yellows. Some more doors and windows. This started off, I just like this ad, it's Buffalo Bills, Irma Hotel. Where is that? Cody, Wyoming. Where else would it be? <laughs> anyway, and then it wound up being big cats with the exception of an actual house cat there. Cookies, and they kind of are bordering on Christmas cookies. There's some specific Christmas cookies in there, but we have everyday cookies too. There's another chocolate page for everyone who can't eat chocolate is on a diet. I'm sorry. <laughs> now that one I did not add to a board or anything. I sort of liked the way it evolved. This one was a little tricky because I had kind of like three big things and I didn't want to obviously cover them up, but I didn't want to just leave three big things. So that, that one was a little tricky, but I liked the way it turned out. More Halloween and sort of fall here. A lot of magazine. There's some store ads there again. Actual postage stamps. This was miscellaneous, obviously. That's another, actually these three, four, five, <laughs> are all off the internet about Buster Keaton. And then I just sort of added Christmas, an Amazon catalog image from a couple years ago. This was a contemporary picture in a magazine, but it's an old vintage tree. It's more store ad stuff, I remember that. This is miscellaneous, horse, dogs, Charlie Brown. Those are Easter egg cup, like you'd make you know, form them into a ring and they hold your egg. A couple birds. This is very miscellaneous. And I was right. For anyone that watched the last Glue Book session, I said, I think I have these two, this taco and pizza in the old book. Yes, I do. Postage stamps. I found the Stamp Freaks in an old cattle, uh, magazine that you could send for stuff. So I thought, well, I'll add cool stamps. And actually, that took a little longer than I thought it would because if they're really super cool, I just save them and don't do anything with them. I have a little box for them. I just save them. If they're kind of cool, like I'd want to use them in a collage, I put them in my collage fodder box. If they're not too interesting, I put them in a bag to use for anything. So they had to be in between not too interesting and really cool. <laughs> so that actually was kind of tricky too. Uh, this started with this big horse picture and then I just added more animals, uh, kind of for color. These two are memory game cards. 
These are scrapbook paper. Some of these bear images, a lot of these here, are travel brochures cut up. This big one here is scrapbook paper. That's an old book image. So is blue here. That was kind of neat. This one started because I was going to make a journal for myself with bears as a theme. And then I decided I don't really like theme journals for myself. <laughs> So I had to do something with bears. More bears. This is wrapping paper here. This might be a calendar. And then miscellaneous here, with the exception of there are some wolves. More color. Now these two pages face each other. This is all catalog here. That's magazine. That's just showing tissue paper in a catalog. The socks, I added to this daisy picture. Those are fun. And we're getting to the last one here. It's more, you know, candy, chocolate, bad for you stuff. This is off a box. I forget now it was brownies. I think this is too. But the rest is magazine. And this is the back inside cover. I just added stuff to fill it up, basically. And then the back is just brown. I painted it brown. Okay, kind of exciting. That's actually done. I can put it away. <laughs> so from now on, it's just the one in mass book then. All right, everyone. Thanks very much for viewing. If I think of it, I'll try to show this on a Friday, enjoying Christina's flip through Friday, but I'm not sure I'll remember that. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.